Here we go again. We are back with another episode of Moombatone Deconstruct. They got a special guest. Guys have asked me for him. I was watching him for a while. We got Vagabond Beats. So, welcome. Welcome to the show. Appreciate you being here. Oh, thank you for having me. It's good to be back. Let's break down this track. You show me the part that you think that like people were really going to fuck with and, you know, tell me how you made it, pretty much. All right, for sure. So, let's get right into it. Even when we're grinding, I get so excited. Ooh, how I like it. I try, but I can't find it. Oh, you're dancing real close. It's real, real slow. that i love that hell yeah i'm sure like that, that goes off as as you know when you play it in your sets and stuff it does <laughs> <laughs> i mean you can't you can't go wrong with flipping the classics you know yeah so how did you how did you come with the idea to flip this sample like what 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 made you do it all right so i love mumble tone and i love r&b 90s music early 2000s so i was like oh why not put them together it's the song was around 100 bpm already so yeah. it's it would sound weird, sped up or slowed down. At the top of the project, it's where I have all the vocals. It stays pretty consistent to the mm -hmm. original. Uh, also, with uh, what I said in the last interview about sound design and how that's mm -hmm. like one of the I made the lead in Serum. Oh, Serum is one of my go-tos. I love that. Yeah. So like, I think it's like the other VST I pay for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely worth it. Um, check out Faceplant if you haven't already. It can do a yes. lot. Yes. Yes, yeah. I've been seeing that a lot. Yeah. It's on my list of things to check out. Yeah, they have a uh, granular synthesis, which Jerem doesn't have, but you can also have as many oscillators, wavetables as you want, so the sound design Ooh. stuff. So I um, recorded I recorded the synth within the DAW, mm -hmm. and then I chopped the loop up. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, and then added a brass stab, so that's where you get the... That's and dirty, bro. Another thing I typically do in my songs is... Every time I make a Moombatone track, I can never find a good snare. So I end up using... <laughs> end up using another kick. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, feel I don't want to... I don't want to keep reusing the uh, old school stuff. I mean, that's kind of like the foundation of the sound. Yeah. At the same time, it's like, okay, I want to do something different. But when I try to do something different, it sound all that great. So instead of experimenting more, it's like, I'm going to get another kick. So I can still get that low. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's always like the default. It's like, you know what? Just use another kick. It's fine. It's fine. It'll work out. Second half of it, though. Uh, another thing I typically do in my songs is I like to use um, a siren with a gate on it. And then mm, okay. Gate. So, for example, this part. So that, along with the kick and the lead, because that's one thing I had to learn was the less, like more, less is more. Yeah. Because I would. I used um, when I first started producing. I used to go crazy with the layering sounds and then mm -hmm. have going on at the same time. But then it gets to it gets niche to where certain people can appreciate it, and then other people are like, "There's too much going on." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like I know you want to be a musician, but <laughs> let's peel this back so I can actually dance to it. Yeah, I, I've yeah. had that issue playing stuff for people, and they're like, "Yeah, this is dope, man," but like. I'm not listening to this in the club, bro. It's too much going on. <laughs> Tough pill to swallow, but you know, make it work. For sure. Now, big question. What's on your master? What do you have on your master? I'm curious. Pull it up. All right. Sausage Fatner. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Those guys. Uh, 
Fab Filter Pro L2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the best true peak limiter I've ever yeah. used. Yeah. Um, Same. I have a mid side EQ. Uh, yeah, okay, here it was. Because on the sides, I shave off the low end so it comes mm. up in the mids. And then Smart. in the mids, I'll like shave a little bit of over 15k and let that just stay like shining on the sides so it gives it a more 3d versus you know so you can keep all the low end hitting in the middle while everything else kind of like, dances around it. that's fire man you're really a, a student to the game like you know you know your shit man that's awesome yeah hours and hours of youtube tutorials to teach you that <laughs> and you just kill you. that's like listen that's, that's how i learned most of the shit i did i wish it was around when i started producing beats because uh, I learned all like my video stuff and, and my camera stuff through YouTube, but you know, I wish it was around when I was a kid. Those, those, nobody wanted to share those secrets with you, you know, back yeah. in the days. Yeah. Um, cause I know people who produced not nearly as long as I have, but so much better just because they have so much, you know, the people around them. Cause I didn't have other producers to kind of bump ideas and techniques off of until I came here a couple of years ago. Cause I've oh, only wow. been in LA for like three, four years. Okay. So you're still relatively new to the scene and, and stuff like yeah. that. That's all. But you're making waves, though. That's, that's really cool stuff, man. Yeah, when you stuff leave to be proud of. When you leave everything, you, you got to make it work. This, this is it. There's nothing else. <laughs> no no plan B, no nothing. Fuck that. This is the option. So that's, that's what the best way, man. Hell yeah. This is great, man. All right, so everybody can find this track on your SoundCloud and stuff? Yes, free download if you want to throw it in. Hell into- yeah. Love that, love that. And when's the next release? Can we get a date? Is it is it coming soon? Ooh, I'm very like spontaneous with it. Sometimes I'll drop a song every two months, and then sometimes it'll be a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, man. I feel you, man. That's awesome, though. Hell yeah! All right, man. Listen, thank you for breaking that down for us. I really appreciate your time. You're the man. I'm a fan. It's the only reason I reached out to you. I know I've reached out to you a while ago. But now is the time. I was like, all right, season two, let's start lining everybody up I wanted to work with. And, you know, I'm happy you took the time to work with her. Speak to me here. Thanks for having me. Hell yeah, bro. Appreciate it.